are you curious about your next relationship about who that person might be how the both of you will meet each other and what the future of that relationship will be then you can choose any one of these piles in front of you for pile number one we have this white flower for pile number two we have this yellow flower and finally for pile number three we have this pink flower so just take a moment connect with this energy of this future relationship and see whichever pile you are drawn to the most and go to the timestamp in the description below i'll see you in your reading hello and welcome to your reading pile number one if you chose this white flower then this is your reading we're going to look at what this future relationship might look like and i'll be starting with these archetype cards to see the energies on both of your ends what do we need to know what might both of you look like in this relationship and any other messages that come through and remember that this is a reading for the collective so take only the messages that resonate and for a personal reading you can check out all the details in the description box below so we have your two energies here and remember that you maybe there is one energy on your end and one on your partner's end and it could be reversible and if you find similar energies on both the ends then this could be about you and your partner sort of mirroring each other so on and i'll see this as person a and person b in this relationship so for person a we have this fault line card here and this tells me that right now in person a's life there is something going on which has created a sort of a barrier or it's a very transformative um, part in their journey at the moment they're figuring out where to go next and how to proceed with this situation wherever they are in their personal lives and with this false line card here i also see that person a is at a point in their lives where a transformational shift is about to happen a major change is about to take place in their lives it could be either that they're moving to a new place they are bringing about a change in their career in their profession or it could also mean that right now uh, for person A, so again, if it resonates with you, then it might be a message for you that maybe you are just getting out of a difficult relationship or a relationship that was very significant for you. It went on for a long time and the end of this relationship brought about a lot of disappointment. So whoever this person A in this relationship is, that's someone that is dealing with this change, with the pain at the moment and they're trying to navigate how to move forward with it and one thing that i'm seeing is this relationship like when you meet this person when both of you are finally together i see that both of you together are going to play a major role in overcoming the pain and hurt from previous relationships and i see a lot of very deep spiritual lessons that this next relationship will bring for you it will bring about a lot of healing energies and i sort of see that both of you are in almost similar aspects in, in your journey because for the person b we have this cave card and this cave card tells us about something mysterious something uh, dark something that's hidden so one thing that i can sort of confirm based on the cards that have come here is before both of you meet before this relationship actually begins you both might have gone through a period of either a major heartbreak that you're dealing with or you found yourself single for a long while so you haven't had a um, significant connection in a while and there has been a period of isolation and this cave always talks about walking away from something that hasn't worked out in our lives so we're moving away from that disappointing situation into just withdrawing ourselves taking back our energies trying to rest and rejuvenate and i see this as the five of cups card in tarot where we you know we're walking away from something taking our time to heal so one thing that i find common in both of you in both person a and person b is you've both been going through a period of just being by yourself trying to process the past hurt and disappointment and as we'll see in the rest of the reading let's look at how 
both of you are going to impact each other on this journey what this relationship is going to look like so i'm going to pull out a couple of uh, cards for you so we look at both the energies on your end and in the common what you're bringing to each other how you're coming together so spirit what does pile number one need to know about this connection how are they coming together what are the energies on both of their ends spirit what do we need to know about this connection what does pile one need to know what messages are there for pile number one how are they coming together okay so we have two cards falling out for you so pile number one one thing that i can see is definitely this connection as a whole both of you meeting it's a very significant shift in both of your journeys because as i mentioned this past hurt that you've been both carrying in your lives you've been dealing with this transformational shift in your life so i see that from this energy of darkness being by yourself you are moving towards a lot more brighter energies a lot more rejuvenating energies and now we look at the energies on both of your ends on person a and person b so one thing that i can very clearly see is that there are a lot of pentacle cards you have king and then both of these and then even the final card as pentacle and even jupiter which in this deck rep represents hierophant so that is also a taurus energy so on both of your ends i can see taurus or just earth signs as a whole being very significant so either you or your person could have these uh, earth signs which is taurus virgo and capricorn in your energy so that could be either your sun moon or rising and this could be in either of your chart so that's just a further confirmation about this specific connection but one thing that i can definitely see is with the abundance of these pentacle cards one important aspect of this relationship will be that it makes both of you feel very grounded it gives you a sense of stability which has been missing in the past because in both the fault line as well as the cave on both of your ends i can see a bit of darkness a bit of difficult experiences from the past so one major change that's that this relationship will bring for both of you is that you will feel very grounded with each other there will be i also see that in this next relationship you'll have a lot of honesty this mutual care and nurturing energies for each other and on person a's end we have the king of pentacles as well as the ten of pentacles so this gives me a very clear confirmation that the this person is someone who's very grounded and i also see that person a is someone who is very invested in their career or in their professional life at the moment whether that is their um academic life in terms of what they're studying or the career that they're pursuing i see this as someone who's very settled they are also getting a very fulfilling um return in their work life so they're getting a lot of financial gain they are settled at the moment so if this resonates with you file number one then the person a could be you otherwise the partner that you're meeting the next relationship could be with someone who's very settled in terms of their finances and when we talk about person b the scave person so that is someone so again taurus could be a significant sign here with jupiter or the hierophant card and we also have the eight of pentacles here so in terms of where both of these people are in their personal lives at the moment i'm seeing that the fault line person person a is a little bit more settled or they are a bit um, further in their journey when it comes to their professional life whereas person b is someone who's still working on their career who is still trying to gradually build their wealth build their stability and sustenance so that that could be a potential difference between both of these people when you meet next at the beginning of your relationship so one person is a little bit more settled whereas the other person could have their energies more dedicated towards still building their finances and um trying to create this sustenance this stability for themselves and in terms of how both of you are meeting so i'm seeing that person b so whether you resonate with this person or if you feel you're here in either case person b is going to be someone who approaches the other person so with the because we have the hermit card here uh, this sort of confirms that 
you know what i was saying earlier about uh, earth science so virgo is coming as a significant sign too so person b could have either taurus or virgo placements and i'm seeing that person b is going to be someone who approaches the other person so here i'm seeing that you know what i said with the cave that this is a person who has been dealing with a little bit period a period of isolation a period of withdrawing themselves or not at least for the past couple of months they haven't been in a relationship and they have even taken their energy back so as not to invest in a relationship at the moment so i'm seeing that this person has been in a bit of a soul searching energy they have withdrawn their energies and they haven't been that open to reaching out to someone and as i also said with the eight of pentacles on person b's end that this is someone who's you know uh, from relationships they've taken their energy back and invested that into their career at the moment and even with the hierophant i see that as a person who's a bit more traditional conventional and they are really focused on their career they're trying to build their wealth but i see that when this encounter happens person b is going to be someone who takes more of an initiative to move towards the other person whereas on person a's and we have this six of pentacles energy so here here i have two messages for you pile number 1 one could be that you are meeting this person in whether you or your person is in a space where they're doing a bit of soul searching or uh they are trying to find activities or different things to pursue that fulfills their soul at the moment so they might be it might be you know uh, one thing that i'm seeing you could meet either on a vacation or some setting where you're coming together for something related to self care whether that's a workshop or class or something of that sort or it's a retreat or a place where people go to just relax and connect deeper with themselves so that could be a potential sign for you that how you're meeting this person from this hermit card and with the 6 of pentacles i'm also getting this energy that you this first meeting with your person that who you'll have a next relationship with it could happen in a community setting so you might either meet this person through family through friends through work circles or maybe you're traveling somewhere to meet your family and in that new space you get to encounter this person but one thing is for sure that you are meeting this person in some external setting where there are other people around and uh, one way or another you you know you catch each other's eyes and you feel the sort of attraction towards each other and then you're seeing how this connection can evolve so another sign of confirmation you might be meeting each other in a group setting and the 6 of pentacles is also a card that often makes me think about events like charity or doing something to volunteer and things like that so if you have been thinking in the next couple of weeks or months about investing your time and energy into something to do with volunteer work teaching working in a community or just spending your time in a specific social circle a group a class or something of that sort where people meet in a group setting then i would definitely encourage you to give that a bit deeper thought because that could be how you meet this person and how this next relationship of yours yours evolves and with that we'll also look at the final card that you had chosen pile number 1 so we have this two of pentacles as the card that you chose so this is telling me that one major area where this relationship would be focused on is trying to achieve balance so as i was saying that one person in this connection seems a bit farther in their journey of their professional growth the their career and maybe this other person in this connection is someone who's still working on it so that could be an area where there has to be be a bit of a balance for example the person who's a lot well settled in this connection might have more time to give to this connection or this relationship whereas this person person b still has a couple of other priorities so one thing that could be a potential a uh, challenge in this connection i see it could be you know trying to find time for each other trying to find time to get to know each other spend more time with each other and there i'm also seeing a major message of having um maybe on either end there has to be a bit of compromise that how can both these people's needs in this relationship be maintained and how can you still spend time with each other without either of them having to compromise on their other responsibilities and another thing that i'm seeing with the 2 of pentacles so you know in this card there's another message 
even though we have the pentacles or this matter of career profession as the forefront we also have these waves in the background and this element of water always helps me connect with our emotions our creativity our well-being and fulfillment so because we have all these earth signs here all these pentacle cards and even this pentacle card here it's telling me that both of you seem to be very practical people and um and i'm also seeing that even if you both feel very strongly about each other but if there are practical blockages in this connection both of you might have the tendency to favor practicality over your own emotions so for example if even though you meet in a group setting there is a common space or something but outside of that maybe there's distance there's um concerns with time and as i was said you know being in different stages of your journey so not having enough time to spend with each other and i'm seeing that for both of you the initial response might be to um look to favor the practical concerns you might decide to not invest time into each other but with this card with the two of pentacles the lesson that i'm seeing for both of you in this connection is to honor your emotions that yes there are practical considerations to take care of but that shouldn't mean that you completely ignore your emotions that this person is so concerned with just the pentacles that they're not even looking back at the waves behind them so one lesson for both of you in this relationship is to honor your emotions honor this um this source of what is it that you know that draws you towards this person is there any amount of attraction that instantly draws you to this person so don't let your emotions sort of take a back seat and not take that into consideration as you move forward and as i was saying that um some numbers that could be significant here so here we have 49 and here we have 32 so uh, 49 it comes down to 13 4 so you know the number 4 could be significant whether that's the date of birth for you or this person that you meet or maybe the fourth date of a specific month could be significant and here we have 32 which comes down to 5 so either of you could have and 5 sort of is also repeated in the uh, hierophant card the jupiter card so the date 5 could be important it's either either of your birthdays or a uh, date in the month where you both meet or this relationship you know goes on to a significant level so pile number one these are all the messages that i had for you and overall i do see that after this initial bit of challenge there is a lot of stability in your connection so just hold on and um yes practical concerns are important but don't ignore your emotions in this connection that's the main message here for you pal number one and thank you so much for joining me for this reading make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if these readings resonated and all the details about booking a personal reading with me are in the description box below and i'll see you in my next video bye bye and take care hello and welcome to your reading pile number two if you chose this yellow flower then this is your reading today we're going to look at everything about your next relationship how you might meet what that relationship is going to look like and we're going to start with a quick energy check on both of your ends so here we'll have person a and here we'll have person b and it might happen that you might find yourself on either end so take whatever messages resonate and if you find that you are aligning with energies on both the ends then it might mean that you and your person have mirroring energies you're both similar in your journey at the moment so we will look at all these messages on both of your ends and remember that all these messages that we're looking at today is for the collective so take only the messages that resonate that you feel intuitively drawn to and if you want to book a personal reading with me then all the details are in the caption below so spirit what do we need to know about pile two and their next relationship messages about pile two and their next relationship all right pile number two so for your cards on person a's end we have this medallion card which is card number 59 and for person b we have the card number 10 which is the warrior so right off the bat one thing that i can see in uh, both of your energies is this very strong sense of purpose or 
one thing that is common in both of you is that you're both very driven very ambitious you work very hard towards your own goals and i feel that could be something that actually brings you both together in the first place and one thing that i can see on person a's end whether that is you or the person that you'll have your next relationship with is that this is a person who is very connected to traditions to their family so for this person if there's any family expectations if there's any promise that they've made to their family in terms of um the kind of person that they'll eventually marry or be with or just things like what um like you know for this pile i'm seeing this is a bit of a traditional person so for them being in a relationship is not just about something temporary they they have a deeper attachment they have a deeper significance that they hold when it comes to relationships so this person is going to be someone who only invest their energy in a relationship if they know for sure that there is a potential or a possibility of it turning into something long term and here i'm also seeing that if if this is you or whether this is the person you're going to meet for this person the other their counterpart or their partner it's not just a relationship between the two of you but it might involve the family as a whole so for this person the family's approval and um even you know like the the family's feelings about it or just the people that this person cares about so their feelings also matter with this specific connection with this relationship and i see this as a bit of a traditional person for whom customs values or just in general having family approval and making sure that everyone in the situation as a whole is happy is something that matters and i'm seeing that even when your connection unfolds when you both are in this relationship i'm seeing that in the initial stages there is going to be a conversation about future expectations or um maybe for some of you there is actually a potential or a possibility of marriage so me i see that for most people who have picked pile number 2 you might not be asking about something just temporary or just for a little while i see a very deep potential of a long term relationship here and with the warrior person as i said this is someone who's very um like who has this spirit that is this energy of always standing up for yourself standing up for what you believe is right having a strong sense of purpose a strong sense of a uh, direction of where you're headed in life and also with this person i'm seeing that this person also has strong expectations about what they wa- want out of a relationship so i'm seeing that even in the initial stages if they find that the energy of the person doesn't fit with their expectations or right off the bat in the initial few weeks or days of dating they find out that the other person's intentions aren't for something long term or it isn't something deeper then they would be very strong in their values and they would take an action to uh, either stop the relationship or have this conversation about what their true expectations are and one more thing that i'm seeing with this warrior card here is that this person person b might be someone who has had to fight a lot of battles in their personal life so maybe they they might have had to either fight with their family about the path they wanted to choose or where they want to move in their life next and this message might only resonate with some of you but because there is this rainbow on this card i am seeing that potentially one thing that this person has had to fight in their lives has been about the person that they choose to love or the the person that they're attra- attracted to and maybe that is something that the family hasn't approved for a while or they've always found themselves just fighting for love in general fighting for acceptance so here i'm seeing a very you know this this contradictory energy almost that on one end we have a person who is very connected to family and who values their family's viewpoint on any person that they date that they decide to be with and on this person's end we see the sense of having to fight against certain norms certain customs so maybe that could be um so even though these seem to be opposite energies but i see that this could be something that brings both of you closer together it makes you 
find this common ground between each other and i i can see that you know even though this person has had to fight for a while but this person's family might be a bit more open a bit more supportive about this and i see this as a connection where uh, there is a lot to do with customs and traditions so in this pile i see that in terms of both of you at least for now i don't see major blockages here in this connection but i definitely see that customs values family as a whole is going to have a deeper impact on this connection and we look at some of your energies a bit more deeper about what else this connection has to offer with, the, with these cards so on this end we look at person a's energies where they're at how they're going to approach the connection on and same here with person b and in the center we look at what is bringing you two together or what this connection has to offer to both of you so energies for person a please spirit person a's energy okay we have three cards falling out for person a and spirit energies for person b please Energies for person B. And what is bringing them together? All right, pile number two. So, what I see here for you, so starting off with person A, I'm seeing that person A might play a bit of a more active role in this connection. So, person A is going to be someone who pursues this connection or a bit more deeper level and uh, because we have the eight of wands energy here and this always talks about um being very passionate about the actions that you're taking it's a bit of a fast-paced card so you're really working hard striving towards what you want to do what you want to achieve and that's why i'm seeing that this person when you meet in the connection maybe person b is a little bit more hesitant or with the queen of wands i see that this person is trying to be a bit more careful about um what they're stepping into but definitely because there are wands on either end i see that in this connection you're both sort of taking a leap of faith towards each other so even though there might be certain things that uh, uh, don't fully align between the two of you but i see both of you have this attraction with each other that makes you take take this leap of faith towards each other and as i said with the eight of wands person a is a bit more quick in their energies they are someone who in the initial few stages of your interaction might feel really drawn and they want to extend this proposal towards you to and to take this relationship a bit forward and with the three of cups on this person's end i'm also seeing that person a might be someone who you know like uh, one thing is either you could meet in a group setting or in maybe you were introduced through a third party a common friend something of that sort and initially it starts off as friendship that's a strong thing that i'm seeing in this connection that you're both getting to know each other on a level of friendship first like truly understanding each other getting to know each other and maybe that's why this connection is evolving so quickly because you're knowing each other as friends first and once within that friendship within that connection once it is established that there's connection there that's when person a would be very passionate in the way that they're approaching this other person and with the three of cups i'm also seeing that this person could be something that has a career or a passion that is something creative could be something artistic or even something spiritual but i see this person very much connected to their heart so even though with the medallion we saw that their family their customs their values have a huge role that has played in their lives and they try to please their family these they try to follow these customs but at the same time they're also very connected to their heart so they follow their passions also and with you know the nine of swords because this is a card that also fell out for person a i'm also seeing with this nine of swords that even though the person a is someone who tries to abide by these rules these customs within the family and tries to honor their family's decision but maybe when it comes to this specific connection either because of um how a person b identifies as in terms of their gender and sexuality or maybe it could also mean in terms of how person b the 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 values that they have the beliefs that they have or there's something that i feel person a's family is going to 
try to control the situation try to influence the situation and even though we saw earlier that person a is someone who tries to connect to these values on a, a deeper level and they try to honor their family but i'm seeing this you know a little bit of a sense of entrapment with this nine of swords card because the nine of swords is always about feeling as if there are restrictions not feeling free in your actions and i'm seeing that because there are these restrictions in this connection in the initial stages of the energy that is why this person is connecting even deeper to, with their own emotions with their own heart and that's why they're taking such quick actions trying to pursue this person because once what i'm seeing with this person and you know the medallion also talks about this wow or a promise that you make to someone so what i'm seeing here is once this person knows that they feel strongly about someone once they know that they want to invest their energies here and as i also said before that this person is someone who sees who only pursues a connection if they see something long term with that person so once this person knows that that sort of a feeling that intensity is present in this connection they know that this person is someone who fulfills their heart who gives them emotional fulfillment and they feel a sense of belongingness so once they know so even though there might be other restrictions holding them back but they will fight against that and they will take these quick actions to pursue this person and when we talk about person b on their end we have the queen of card uh, sorry queen of wands here so if you resonate with this energy then this might be you and remember this doesn't have to do with the gender that you identify as but just this divine feminine energy that is present in all of us on some extent so on person b's and i'm seeing this queen of wands energy so this is someone who is very passionate very ambitious and i'm also seeing this person uh, person person b as someone who takes all steps necessary to follow their dreams even if there are external challenges that come their way this person is someone who will always strongly stand for what they believe is right they will keep working towards it and i'm seeing this could be a quality that actually attracts person a even so much so you know what i was saying earlier one point that you both can connect on instantly is just how strongly you feel about things about issues that matter to the both of you and that could be something that brings you together so in terms of how exactly you're meeting it could actually be through something like this whether it's um maybe a social cause that both of you are working towards or it could be for some of you i'm also seeing that you might meet in a professional or an academic setup where you are working on a project or something to do with social issues something to do with betterment of society in some capacity or the other and with the sword cards here i'm also being drawn to air energy which is about intellect intelligence or power of communication so that could be something that you meet each other through and because the, there's the warrior card here now i'm also able to see uh, either a maybe a protest or some as i mentioned a social cause that you're both working towards or it could also be that there is um maybe this person person b is also someone who writes about social issues or issues that they believe in or they they have some sort of a uh, maybe an online presence or at least some platform where they share their views and i'm seeing that maybe this person finds finds person be through something like that so they find out about their blog what they're writing what what work they've done before or something of that sort so some social issues something to do with um putting your voice out there making your voice heard that could be a setup that you both meet each other through and another thing that i'm seeing is um in these energies you might also be meeting each other through as i was saying earlier common friends so there could be other people involved in the situation and also i'm getting a very strong sense that this is not a connection where instantly you both are pursuing each other because of a romantic interest instead i'm seeing that it it's your values it's your beliefs that are bringing you together in the first place and because of your um this the, these values and beliefs that you hold and you see that the other person also shares them that's what i'm seeing as something that draws you both close to each other and then through that interaction it could develop into a bit more of a deeper connection and here in terms of what energy is bringing you together i'm seeing the seven of pentacles so this is a little bit of a slow energy a careful energy so with this card with the seven of pentacles i'm seeing that maybe 
when you do get to know each other as friends and then there is a point where both of you realize that you have attraction towards each other you are interested in each other maybe at that point you you know even though i'm seeing with person a that they are going to very actively pursue the other person they are wanting to establish this other relationship but maybe on this end on the other person's end or just the way the relationship progresses there could be a bit of delay or maybe person b because you know i was talking with the warrior energy that this person has had to fight a lot in their past whether that is challenging customs views or in general they have had to be defensive in their past connection so that's why this person could be a bit um reluctant initially to invest their energies fully into this connection and that could also be a potential cause why this person is feeling a bit trapped like they know that their heart is invested in this connection they know that they are very willing to take actions but on this person's end we see this feeling of you know evaluating other things being very sure about something before they take action and on this person's end we also have the two of swords and this card always talks about um a period of decision making having to take a decision about what to do ahead what path to take moving forward and this decision for them is something that has to be very practical something very logical so even though they have very deep feelings and emotions for this person this person might take a little bit of time before stepping forward because they have to take things very uh, they have to evaluate it logically they can only march forward if they feel that the relationship as a whole is going to help them and is not going to be something that breaks their heart and with your final energy with the card that you chose here pile number 2 we we'll look at this card as well so here we have the king of swords so exactly what i was saying with the practical and logical constraints in this situation so so you know what i had said that one thing that unites you or brings you both to each other is having a set of common values common beliefs or you might even meet through a social cause or while doing something that you both believe in so even though there is alignment on that end there is a friendship that that develops there is a connection that is nurtured in this connection in this relationship but one thing that you both need to be careful of is this queen king of swords energy so here what happens is one potential shadow aspect of the king is that he might um sometimes place a lot more importance to logic and rationality over emotions so there could be instances where this person becomes a bit harsh becomes a bit rude and if there's something that they believe in very strongly then the king might not consider the other person's emotions so because you know here we only saw one cups card so the medallion this person is someone who is at least a little more connected with their emotions who will take these emotional factors into account before um you know like uh, investing their energies in a connection but maybe on this person's end the warriors and just because of their past experiences and the potential heartbreak that they might have experienced in their previous connections or how their relationships so far have been they are someone who who's a bit more cautious so person b could be someone who as i was saying earlier you know with the two of swords that they're not very instantly um convinced about the connection or very instantly they are not too willing to invest their energy into it or to take this relationship to a next step forward so that could be a potential blockage here but the way that i'm seeing the situation unfold is there has to be a very practical conversation that takes place between both of these people because all these wand cards here tell me that the emphasis is going to be a lot on communication and i'm seeing that both person a and b have intellect as one of their strongest suits so i'm seeing that both of these people because they have this strong intellect that this aspect of communication as is is going to be very strong here it's just that how can you use this communication to find a common ground and i'm seeing that this connection has a lot of depth to it a lot of ways in which it can teach you significant lessons for both of you so how can you find this common ground how can you find the value even in the differences that you might have and once both parties here both person a and person b feel that they are fully ready to invest in this connection and they are 
um, ready to even battle through the challenges that might come, then I am seeing this evolving into a very significant connection, evolving into a very um, like this energy of you know like i'm seeing that this connection as a whole has a much bigger purpose that yes it is going to bring both of you a lot of emotional fulfillment this sense of belongingness and oneness with each other but i'm also seeing both of you in your next relationship together doing or pursuing something much bigger than you as well so whether that's the social cause that we were talking about earlier like that's something that both of you decide to do together you take up that uh, forward or I'm seeing that both of you in your individual personal journeys, you have, you, you're both very ambitious, you have your own set of goals. And I'm seeing that this connection, both of you coming together, it's not going to be like your energy or your focus shifts entirely from your original purpose to each other. Rather, I'm seeing that instead of investing all of your time into just this connection itself it's going to be something like where each of these people encourages the other in their own personal journeys so i'm seeing that both of you are going to inspire each other in your passions and the goals that you have and instead of being something like a distraction or something of that sort i'm seeing that this connection as a whole is going to um allow you both to invest even more energy and resources into your personal goals and i'm seeing a lot of growth and development that is going to take place through this relationship a lot of learning about yourself about each other and also your own individual purposes and how can you add on to each other's lives without taking anything away like you this relationship isn't something that takes your focus away rather it inspires the both of you so overall i see a lot of inspiring energy so much of this just personal growth taking place on both of your levels and this could be a very um on some levels it could be a bit intense because of how much growth and learning is happening but don't lose sight of this common focus or this common direction or this common value that brought you together in the first place so pile number two that's all i have for your next significant relationship and thank you so much for joining me for this reading today make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if these messages resonated and remember this reading was for the collective so take only the messages that resonate and if you want a personal reading you can check out all the details in the description box below and i'll see you in the next reading bye bye hello and welcome to your reading pile number three if you chose this pink flower then this is going to be your reading we look at what your next relationship is going to look like what do you need to know maybe how you will both meet each other what this connection is going to look like and we'll start off with energies on both of your ends where both of you are at where will you be in your journeys when you meet each other and remember that this is a reading for the collective so take only the messages that resonate and if you want to book a personal reading with me all the details are in the description box below so spirit what do we need to know about pile number three and their next relationship so this is for person a and then we look at energies for person b so it could be you on either end of both of these and if your energies are similar then it just means that both of you are similar uh, at similar stages in your relationship so for person a we have the crone card number 13 and for person b we have the 23 card which is the destroyer so we look at just the overall energies for both of you here so what i'm seeing on both of your ends so person a with the crone i see this as someone who is um a bit more intuitive they might even have psychic abilities or they could also be this person a could be someone who is into practices like tarot or something to do to do with occult sciences or just in their personal lives they make a lot of use of their intuition and I'm also seeing person A as someone who could be a bit more spiritual in their beliefs or in, in just in their personal life journey. And I'm also seeing that person A, the crone person, is someone who 
does not tolerate anything superficial in relationships so if you resonate with this energy this could be you i see the crone person as someone who only values an actual in-depth connection this person values depth to connections this person values an actual connection that will bring about growth for both the people involved and not something very superficial and i'm also seeing that this person has sort of experienced a lot gone through different experiences they might have even be been part of the dating culture whether that's online dating apps or they've they've had these kinds of relationships where there wasn't any depth to it or there it seemed superficial or it didn't fulfill any deeper needs so i'm seeing that this crone is someone that in this relationship in the next relationship they are expecting a bit more of a a connection that actually touches your soul it touches the depths of who you are and even if it is uncomfortable on certain stages on certain aspects you don't give up in this relationship just because of these challenges rather you fight for these things together you you both both grow together in this next connection so i'm seeing that definitely for pile 3 this relationship seems a bit that's going to challenge both of you that's going to bring about a lot of these deeper issues for the both of you and as i said with person a this um inclination towards things that are psychic or working with your intuition and looking for something that's a bit more deeper in relationships and i'm also seeing that person a could be someone who has uh maybe some clairvoyant abilities or they have the psychic insights so this person could already be dreaming about this connection already so even if they can't see a face to this uh this other person this person be they already know on some level about what this connection might look like so for this person i'm seeing that they will have an instant knowledge when they encounter this other person in the initial few meetings itself they would know the significance of this connection and maybe even before meeting this person could have dreams about this connection or they could have some form of an intuitive understanding about what this next relationship is going to be like so if you resonate with this message this person could be you on the other hand for person b we have this destroyer card and this destroyer energy shows me someone who so like i'm seeing a couple of different messages here with the destroyer this person could be someone who either has had a recent um a recent relationship that ended and maybe they might have been the person who chose to call it quits or who chose to bring this relationship to an end because of how things were going on if or if they weren't working out and i'm also seeing this person this destroyer as someone who in their usual relationships they would rather prefer to end the connection rather than work with something and um try to solve conflicts or resolve these situations and i'm seeing that that has been sort of a this circle reminds me of a pattern that we're stuck in or a loop or something of that sort so person b this destroyer person could be someone who has this tendency to let go of connections to let go of relationships because they are a bit more scared to confront maybe their own insecurities or maybe if a relationship or if a connection triggers their own shadow aspects which are brought to the forefront then they might choose to instead of working instead of taking accountability and working on their actions or uh, taking ownership of the mistakes that they've made i am seeing that this person would rather choose the easier way out of ending connections and it's quite interesting that we have both these energies coming together because here i'm seeing that someone who challenges the other person this the crone challenges the destroyer to actually tap into these deeper issues with the new and I, as i said this person is not looking for something superficial or something just on the surface they want depth to this connection and here i'm seeing that this might actually trigger some aspect of this other person where they're not yet ready or okay with addressing their deep wounds within them but i'm seeing that once both of these sort of contradictory or opposing energies come together there is going to be a bit of give and take they are going to learn from each other what the crone is going to teach the destroyer is about addressing your deeper wounds addressing wounds from the past that maybe the destroyer has been suppressing or not addressing and at the same time 
even the destroyer has something to offer to this connection i'm seeing the destroyer is going to help the crone person to let go of certain things that have happened in the past so you know both things are important here that yes if we have wounds from the past or certain things that haven't worked out in relationships before or some things that have to be addressed so that lesson that processing that healing is important but at the same time you can't carry all these past wounds with you all the time through this entire journey like at some point you have to let go of certain things and let them be in the past so that's what the destroyer person is teaching the crone that how can you let certain things go how can you um you know for like the destroyer with this destroyer there is this uh, energy that in order to create something new like for creation to happen it must always be preceded by destruction so it's only when you destroy old energies can you come into newer energy so this destroyer person here might uh, might help the crone person to understand first of all what do they have to let go of in the past and maybe because this crone person is someone who seeks for depth in their connections who cannot tolerate superficial relationships and maybe that's exactly what they have had to encounter in the past and that has created certain wounds for them or made them feel that they are not able to have an in-depth relationship the way that they want so with the destroyer they will have that in-depth connection but at the same time they will also learn to let go of any past hurt and resentment that is affecting this relationship and now we look at a couple more messages about this connection energies on both of your ends so what each person is going through and how you're going to meet how this encounter is going to happen so for person a we have the six of swords spirit what else do we need to know about the energies we have the magician for person b we have the queen of pentacles We have the Four of Pentacles. And what can we know about both of these people coming together? What is going to be the outcome of this connection? All right, pile number three. So, what I'm seeing here is first of all, because there are, you know, these all these major arcana cards here, I can see the significance of this relationship and what you both are going to bring to each other, what you're going to offer to each other. So I'll start with both the people and the energies there. So for person A, we're starting off with the Six of Swords and the Magician. So the Six of Swords here tells me that person A might be, you know, what I said earlier, that they might have had disappointing or unfulfilling relationships in the past. And that is something that they're moving away from. So I see this person who has had recent relationships that didn't work out or felt very disappointing and that's the energy that they're moving away from and the six of swords is always about leaving a chaotic or an unsettling situation behind to walk into calmer waters because in the traditional imagery in the rider weight deck for six of swords we have this person carrying all their baggage with them everything with them and moving away from something that didn't serve them anymore that wasn't an help a helpful energy for them and then stepping into clearer waters stepping into something that will give them a lot more emotional fulfillment and the magician here just confirms what i was saying earlier about this person being a bit more psychic intuitive connected with this mag aspect of magic and spirituality manifestations clairvoyancy things like that so i'm seeing that person a the crone is someone who has a deeper connection with spirituality maybe they are also someone who believes in uh, manifestations they could be practicing things like scripting so you know right scripting is somewhere you think about the future so you visualize yourself in the future and you write in the present tense so you imagine you visualize as if you're already in the future you have your desired outcomes and then you write about that so maybe the crone person is someone who uses these sort of practices to invite the their desired outcomes into their lives and i'm seeing the magician definitely has these powers of manifestations with them and they could be so they know the the, the crone person knows what is it that they truly need and this person even though on the surface in the beginning of the connection it might seem that this person has very opposite energies or this person is um is leading to you know like 
person B might be confronting person A's deeper challenges. So even though it might seem like that on the outside, but person A just needs to remind themselves that this is exactly what they had been manifesting and all their manifestations are coming to true. The lessons that they have to learn is going to be something that this relationship is going to help them to learn. And on the person, uh, the destroyers, and we have the queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So just because we have two pentacle cards here, maybe earth signs is um, so taurus virgo capricorn maybe this person has earth signs in their charts whether sun moon or rising or it could also mean that they are someone who you know as i was saying earlier that this aspect of destruction or having to clear away older energies in order to make way for something new so this person person b the destroyer person is going to be someone who like you know this aspect of emotions like when i was saying that person a is someone who is psychic intuitive and wants a deeper connection really full uh, values their emotional fulfillment and i'm seeing that this person it, it's also giving me a sense you know the idea of the high priestess so this water element is coming out very strongly for the crone person so they're very in, in touch with their emotions whereas for the destroyer I'm seeing this person who is a lot more practical like if they know that there's something that has to be cut off from their lives then they will get rid of that energy they will not yes they will feel a bit hurt but if they know that a decision is practical for them they'll carry that decision out without any remorse so here I'm seeing a bit of a it could be a painful energy for the other person or for the situation or person that they're getting rid of because you know they, they might value this sense of practicality a lot more than emotions and because we also have the four of pentacles here I'm also seeing the sense of um, in the traditional imagery for the four of pentacles we have this person clinging on to their coins holding on to these pentacles very rigidly very tightly so here I'm seeing that person A wants a deep connection they want someone who's very emotionally invested but person b is someone who holds on to their emotions a little bit they will not reveal everything about themselves person b won't reveal exactly how they're feeling or the depth of their own feelings the depth of the connection that they're experiencing they they hold on to that and they only pour their love and energy into the connection when they're fully sure about it and when they also have looked at all the practical considerations they might ask themselves the question that does this relationship have has a, you know does this relationship have a real future ahead can things work out so they won't invest their energies or they won't let themselves be emotionally vulnerable until and unless they have full certainty that this relationship won't hurt them it has a potential future together you know both of you have a potential future together and that's something that might hurt the crone person in the beginning because they want deep connections they want an instant emotional connection they want these deep talks about how exactly you're feeling where do you see yourself going and all these deeper things that they want addressed in a relationship but the destroyer is not someone who will openly reveal that or who will openly have those sort of uh, that sort of um, connection from the get-go and they are holding on to their affection to their feelings to their deeper emotions for a little while and that might hurt the crone person in the beginning but there is also this sign that once this person knows that yes i can invest into this connection i see something deeper here that's when they will you know this queen of pentacles they are going to approach um or sort of you know come in with the offering that yes now i am ready to invest into this relationship i know and i also feel safe in pouring my energies into this connection so then this destroyer person after so in terms of the timeline what i'm seeing is when you meet each other at least initially there is going to be this sense of hesitancy so the crone person might have recently just moved away from a breakup or a disappointing situation the destroyer even though even though they have strong feelings in the beginning they're not openly sharing that or not being vulnerable so things might move a little slower but with this queen of pentacles once this destroyer person reaches a stage where they feel confident about their feelings then they will be much more open in sharing that and finally in how both of you are coming together having both of these um 
major arcana cards tells me that when you both are in the space of actually being ready to go through with this connection to get to know each other on a deeper level to invest into this connection on a deeper level that's when things are going to progress at a very rapid pace it's going to almost shift things around for both of you but what i'm seeing here like the, the guidance that's present for both of you so person a the crone person needs to understand this energy of the hanged man like this gives me a sense of patience of having a different perspective and what i'm seeing here is the one lesson or one guidance that's there for the crone person is even if you have certain expectations that you want a connection to evolve with a lot of emotional depth but you also have to look things from the other person's perspective like why is this person holding back from their affection what might this person's past experiences have been that has forced this person to not be very quick in sharing their deeper feelings because i'm seeing the crone is someone who knows what they want they want in-depth connections and if they feel that sort of a connection with someone they'll instantly be open to you know like the i'm i'm seeing that the crone person they might have only known someone for a couple of days or weeks or just a few days and within just a short amount of time they might be sharing all of their past experiences the difficulties that they've gone through their past relationships and so on whereas the destroyer person is not going to reveal that information very quickly and here the crone person needs to realize that just because the destroyer just because person b is holding back information doesn't mean that this person doesn't feel as strongly and person a has to confront their own expectations about what assumptions that they have about other people's feelings so just because this person is being a bit cautious in the beginning and not revealing too much information doesn't mean that this person doesn't feel as strongly so that's the person that's a message that we have for person a and for person b they have to it's not just that this person person a will have to just tolerate any behavior from this other person and just because this person is taking time doesn't mean that they can take this other person's feelings for granted so one lesson for person b for this destroyer person is to connect with this empress energy and this empress is always about giving birth to new things whether that's a connection or um sort of sowing a seed and then nurturing it completely so that you can see it grow into something abundant something very rich and deep and prosperous so on this person's end the guidance is to yes take your time develop your feelings develop your trust and uh, only after that share how you're feeling and to that sense of caution is definitely something that if this person feels more comfortable with that then do that but at the same time they also have to realize that they can't keep the other person waiting forever like even though the guidance for person a is to have this bit of patience but that doesn't mean that person b just takes um an unnecessary amount of time and um just doesn't respond or doesn't give an indication about where their feelings are at so here i'm seeing that person b has to the destroyer person has to be careful about how long they keep the other person waiting and also with this empress energy i'm seeing that person b has to step into this element of truly of truly honoring the uh, the person a's feeling so i'm seeing that person b is going to have to be a little bit more emotional than what they're used to so you know what i was saying earlier that the destroyer the destroyer energy so if they instantly find that something is not working out in a connection so they might just withdraw their energies or end things or not let it reach a stage of emotional confrontation so they have to learn how to be a bit more generous a bit more gentle with their emotions and we look at your final card here which is okay so we have the five of cups as your um this message that you need to know or what do you need to understand about this connection so the five of cups is about some sense of disappointment so you know what i was saying that in both the energies both people's energies i'm seeing some past relationship past situation or some something that they invested their energies in earlier did not work out so that's something i'm seeing common in both of your end so the crone person might have let go of a past connection because it wasn't emotionally fulfilling or it didn't 
reach the depths that they wanted to or maybe it was superficial on some level and maybe for person b they let go of a certain connection because they they were really you know not wanting to enter that space of emotional depth or they could instantly see that this situation is just not going to work out so instead of having this in-depth conversation about it have uh, talking about how to make things work they rather chose the decision to just end the relationship so i'm seeing that on both of these people's end in your next relationship and you might resonate with either of these energies but the message is still the same that to first give yourself time to process past hurt to grieve if you have to to um just give yourself time to acknowledge the pain that you might have experienced but you know with this five of cups one message that we get is that yes there are these three cups that have spilt here you know the things that haven't worked out there is a sense of disappointment here but then also allow yourself to just change your perspective and look in the other direction also because we still have two cups standing so this tells me that despite this possibility of past hurt and things not working out for both of these people need to realize when they encounter each other when this relationship is about to begin that um you can't let your past hurt define all your experiences moving forward so how can you honor your feelings your past experiences but at the same time give give this a chance that's what i'm seeing as the first and foremost message to give this person a chance give this connection a chance even if it isn't something that's a long term relationship and it um for sure leads to something like marriage or something deeper even if it isn't something like that which we can't know at the moment unless we've uh, engaged with this energy so even if you see that um this might this person might not be the one or this person doesn't seem to be the one but just ask yourself that are there other needs or other things that this relationship is fulfilling or what is this relationship or this connection teaching you and give this person a chance give this situation a chance and obviously you have to use your intuition and your feel free will here and to only take the messages that resonate but one thing that i'm seeing is don't be so caught up in just the cups that were spilled or this disappointment that holds you back from even acknowledging this these two cups that are standing or i see these cups as the potential for a connection potential for something deeper to develop em- emotionally so again for person a what they have to keep in mind is um that yes there is something that they value which is an emotional in depth connection and maybe that's something that they've missed out in the past or they had to let go of someone because they didn't fulfill their needs but even with this new person this new person that they meet in their next connection give them some time to open up their feelings and once you are a little bit patient with them and this person also takes their own time to take actions and move forward they will also reach a stage where they are very open with their emotions where they are in this empress energy they can provide you what you need and for person b the guidance here is that this person should be okay with reaching a stage where there is some form of an emotional confrontation to take place or as i was saying earlier that if in the past this person has been quick to end relationships at the first sight of an emotional conflict or a difficulty this person has to hold on a little bit longer this person has to honor their own feelings and you know one thing that i'm seeing here that even in the past connections if they have taken a step to end the relationships i'm seeing not that as something because they lost all their feelings or they just stopped caring for the other person they 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 still did have these feelings but ju- they just weren't ready at that point to invest that deeply when it comes to their emotions and you know something interesting that i just noticed is in the destroyer we have these four sort of coins you know in the background and that's exactly the imagery that we also have in this four of pentacles and just this overall imagery of this circle being within it and the four of pentacles message it tells me that this person has really held themselves back from emotionally investing in connections being just allowing their own vulnerabilities their own emotional depth to 
come forward in a connection and i'm seeing that in this next relationship this aspect is going to be something that they learn a lot more about this connection is finally going to open them up emotionally it's going to give them space give them permission to feel deeply and you know one more thing that i'm seeing here is um because the crone is someone who you know i was saying that this person could be psychic or they have a very strong intuition they're connected with spirituality and with the magician i, I was saying that this person has the ability to manifest the kind of connections that they want i'm seeing that because this person has this uh, intuitive insight they might might know or at least their higher self knows that this connection is significant and that is exactly why they're giving this person a chance even if the person is on at the stage of the four of pentacles where they're not openly re revealing their feelings or holding back their affection but this person knows that there's something more deeper to this person the, um, the crone knows that the destroyer person has these deeper emotions it's just that they're going to take their own time to reveal those so just be patient with each other in this connection be patient with yourself and there is a lot of potential of growth of healing for both these people and to eventually reach the stage of having so much emotional depth so much of a mutual understanding here arriving at a common purpose and moving forward in a path that's going to serve the both of you and one final message or sort of a guidance that i'm seeing for both of you is don't lose sight of your expectations or these deeper needs that you have from connections because sometimes we lose sight of these things and we see the relationship only as this person and the situation on the surface and we don't realize what is this relationship meant to teach us who are we both on a deeper level what purpose is this rela relationship fulfilling what can i learn from this connection so make sure you are tapping into these deeper questions when this connection happens and overall i feel that you will have a very strong bond very strong connection and just give each other a chance give each other and yourself a chance to heal and move on from this whatever past situation you've experienced and let yourself experience the deep lessons of this next connection and sending you all the best wishes pile number three thank you so much for joining me today for this reading make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this reading resonated let me know in the comments below what other topics you would like me to do a reading on and take care and i'll see you in the next reading bye bye